The second quarter of 2022 has been an eventful time for the markets. An energy crisis, a war in Ukraine, inflation and interest rate rises. Uh, I think inflation is going to be with us a long time. A strong US dollar and political uncertainty. There should be a new leader of that party and therefore a new prime minister. Have all caused challenging conditions for traders. At Capital.com, we've studied trading data from our clients from all around the world to compile our latest quarterly trend report. We've posted a link to the full report in the description below. But to give you a taste of our analysis, here are some key takeaways from the report itself, all of which offer a current and comprehensive overview of Capital.com Group's retail investing trends. First up, we have shorting. Short selling has become increasingly popular amongst traders as many markets have continued to fall. Our data has shown that 38% of traders on the platform took short positions. This is up from 34% in Q1 and it's the highest rate since early 2020, just before the start of the pandemic. Traders in the UK, Africa and Asia registered the highest number of short trades on our platform. Shorting made up an average of 41% of all trades across those regions. And the most heavily shorted market? $350. Of course, it was foreign exchange, particularly pairings involving the US dollar. Continued rising inflation, interest rate hikes and slowing growth have put many assets under pressure. Stocks, for example, tend to perform worse when inflation is rising and central banks are trying to tackle it, which they currently are. During Q2, shorting proved more profitable than holding long positions, with just over 32% of short trades being profitable compared with 28.7% for long positions. If you want to learn more about short selling, you can watch our explainer video on the topic by clicking up here. Russia's invasion of Ukraine sparked an energy crisis in Europe, which naturally has had consequences for the price of energy commodities. Trades for natural gas on Capital.com increased by 75% during the quarter, accounting for one and a half million trades for this commodity in total. Natural gas has been particularly volatile this quarter and year on year from June 2021, its price soared by 240%. This volatility goes both ways though. Prices dropped by more than a third in the last weeks of June, rewarding the shorters. Oil has had a very different quarter. Trades in the commodity on our platform were down 22% in Q2. This coincides with a global decline in trading of Brent crude by 36% over the past three months, while shorting on oil also increased slightly since the previous quarter. Have we seen the peak of price increases for this commodity. From April 2020 to the end of June 2022, there was a 511% gain in the price of oil, coinciding with a general commodity super cycle. That super cycle may now be over, with oil's price possibly having overstretched itself. That brings us to the darlings of the stock market, tech stocks. What happened in Q2 for these assets? The Nasdaq 100 index was the most traded asset on our platform for the second quarter and, like the general trend, has seen greater shorting activity. This is partly because the last three months have been the single worst quarter for the Nasdaq since the Great Recession. Most tech stocks have been absolute disasters. This happened for two main reasons. Many investors became worried about the high valuation of growth stocks, particularly tech, after the strong gains seen during the pandemic, 
which was partly fueled by the various stimulus programs. We are strongly, strongly committed to restoring price stability. And secondly, inflation and the response of central banks have knocked the performance of tech stocks. With increased shorting and less trading in oil, the Nasdaq overtook this commodity to become Capital.com's most traded asset. You've got to be willing to let that acorn grow into a little sapling and then finally into a small tree and maybe one day it'll be a big business on its own. Amazon was the surprise tech story of the quarter. The number of Capital.com traders in the stock surged by more than 1,300%, with a 110% increase in the volume of long positions taken on the stock. Again, short sellers were most profitable. And who could forget Amazon's radical 20 to 1 stock split in June? This effectively splits one share into 20 smaller ones and should lower the price of each individual share by 95%, making it much more affordable to smaller investors. It may explain the huge surge in trader interest in Amazon. Volatility in energy markets and tech stocks, as well as an increase in shorting activity, characterized trading trends during this quarter. We'll wait to see whether these trends persist into Q3. Thanks for watching. You can read our latest Capital Pulse report in full by clicking on the link in the description. If you'd like to learn more about commodities, you can watch our recent film on commodity super cycles by clicking on the box. And of course, don't forget to click on the subscribe button to stay alerted to more films on similar topics in the future.